Many times in working with a microcontroller, it is useful or necessary to display certain pieces of information. An LCD can be used for that purpose. The Parallax serial LCD is quite easy to use. And part of the reason for that is there is only three connections that need to be made. There is the RX, which will get connected to a pin on your pickaxe. Say that is my B.7. And we have, as it's labeled there, we need plus 5 volts. And we need a ground connection. You could simply use a standard servo cable to make this connection to your breadboard and then make the necessary connections to your microcontroller. The other thing that you need to do in setting up the serial LCD is to have the baud rate set correctly. Both your microcontroller and your LCD need to be transmitting receiving at the same speed or baud rate. So these two switches set that. For example, if we put both of those switches in the off position, that's in the position nearest this one and two, then the display will display a default message. In essence, testing to see that you have it uh, powered up correctly. We're going to be using 2400 baud on our microcontroller, so we need to make sure that switch one is in the on position and switch two is in the off position, just as they are here. Now that we have our microcontroller connected, and configured for the right baud rate, we can go ahead and set up our program. It's quite easy. Um, basically, what we need to be doing is setting a using a command that is going to send data out on pin B.7. So that is going to be the serial out command. So we'll use serial out. We need to follow that with information concerning the speed that we're going to be transmitting at. This will vary from pickaxe to pickaxe. I'm using the 40X2, so I'll use the T2400. Underscore eight. Take a look at the manual to see what will work for your particular pickaxe. I then need to follow that with the data that is going to be transmitted. So I would simply put in between double quotes whatever I want to have displayed. So my LCD, once I run this program, would be displaying the word hello. It would start on, if it's a 2 by 16, that means 2 rows. 16 columns, the hello would start in the first line, the first space on the first line. Let's say I want to display something else. I would still use the serial out. I would still use the T2400. Underscore 8. And let's say I now put a hello I can put a space if I wanted to, and I could put the word there. So, hello there. So, that's one, two, three, four, five. The space is six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So, that would all fit on the first line. Now I can do a lot of other things. I can send special codes to the LCD to make it do different things. I'm going to list some of them here. Let's say, for example, that we want to clear everything on the screen. That is going to be the ASCII code 12. So we'll just make this like a remark. So 12, that's the clear screen. That will completely clear the screen of any information. Some of these have a backlight. So 17 turns that backlight on. And an 18 turns it off. 
The display itself, the actual LCD display, can be turned on and off. This is different from the backlight. So that is a 21 display off. A 22 turns the display back on. It does not erase the display. It simply turns it off or back on. Now there are others and you can check the parallax data sheet for some of the others that you might be interested in using. But let's say that in my program I want to clear the screen. So I would again use the serial out. I would still use the T2400 underscore 8. And then what I would do is still use the parentheses but what I need to put in here is the ASCII code that I am going to be using. So if I need to clear the screen, I would simply put a 12. So whenever this is transmitted, it would clear that screen. Now with the clear to screen, it's required that you pause for five milliseconds to give that time to perform that task. Let's say that I want to turn the backlight on. I would do a serial out. T2400 underscore 8 comma. And if what I'm doing is turning the backlight on, that's going to be a 17. So you can see I can do all kinds of things here with my LCD. It's more than just displaying information. Now realize too that these characters, when I'm displaying them like hello and there, wherever the cursor is currently positioned, that's where this information is going to be displayed. So when I first power up, it's going to be in that very first column, very first row. When it gets done printing the hello, it'll be at the very next space and that's where it's going to put this space and then follow that with the there. If I run out of room, if I end up with more than 16 characters, it's going to automatically come back down to the next line. We can position the cursor if we wanted to. For example, if I want to position it on the second line and in the fourth spot, if I looked at my parallax data sheet, which I did, I would find out that that is a 153. So if I'm going to use a 153, that's going to tell me that it is on the second line. And it will be the fifth row in. And what I would do to position that is simply, again, serial out T2400 underscore 8. And then in parentheses, I would put the 153. Now, you can combine these things. You don't have to put everything on a separate line. If I wanted to do a serial out T2400 underscore 8 and let's say that I want to print the word hello and then I want to move it to that second line I could do that if I then want to print something else let's say OK, I can combine those on one line, just keep them separated by commas. If I want to display the value of some symbol, I can also do that. So let's say I have a symbol, uh, maybe I'll just, maybe I'll just use the byte reference, B0. So if I want to display the value of that, I put the pound sign 
and then whatever the symbol, in this case, the byte name is. Again, that could be on a line with other pieces of information. Let's say I want to take and display that value that's in B0, and I want to put uh, maybe a percent sign. Maybe I want to follow that by the value of some symbol, and I'm going to call it, um, we'll call it PCT. So I'd put the pound sign in front of it in order to display the value that's contained inside of that symbol. So you can see there's lots of flexibility, lots of power in using the LCD. You can display all kinds of numeric, alphanumeric kinds of characters. And with the serial LCD, you only need the one pin to make that work. All right, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and look forward to doing other ones.